Hello! Welcome to another Design Spark unboxing video. My name is Camila Lehmet, and today we will be unboxing AVR IoT Cellular Mini Development Board from Microchip. As the name suggests, the board has been designed around AVR microcontroller along with security and connectivity features, which makes it ideal for quick and easy prototyping of IoT applications. You can start programming the board straight out of the box within the Arduino code supported environment, such as Arduino IDE. As the AVR IoT Cellular Mini comes with dedicated library that allows communication with the systems and components on the board. Within the kit, you can expect to find the AVR Cellular Mini board, flexible antenna from Molex, and 150 MB 90 day SIM card from Truefone. With that, let's go through the components on the board. The processing is carried out by the microcontroller from AVRDB family, the AVR 128DB48, running at up to 24 MHz and with 128 KB of flash. One of the highlights of the AVRDB family is the addition of their multi-voltage I.O. feature, which is essentially an integrated level shifter, which can be configured to voltages between 1.8 and 5.5 volts. The board also features a high-security cryptographic device from Microchip's crypto authentication family, the ATECC608. B, which is a coprocessor with secure hardware-based key storage for storing up to 16 keys, certificates, data, as well as security configurations. The AVR IoT Cellular Mini Board also includes Monarch 2 GM02S module from Sequence. It is based on second-generation chip platform for LTM and NB IoT connectivity solutions. The board also features a temperature and a color sensor, as well as has an option to add external sensor through Quick or Stemma connector. With the kit, you get an embedded SIM from Truefone, with 150 megabytes of data available for 90 days since the activation date. Unlike traditional SIM cards, embedded SIM or eSIM for short allows switching network providers without physically removing the SIM card, as well as storing multiple profiles on a single device. To start using the eSIM, you'll first need to create an account with Truefone and activate your SIM by providing the codes that could be found at the back of the plastic card. Truefone also offers a connectivity management platform for their customers with features like a dashboard for managing SIM cards, getting an overview of connection usage, billing information, and much more. Let's now put the SIM in the slot and connect the antenna. And make sure there is a click sound that indicates that antenna is attached properly. In this section, I'll cover the steps for setting up the development environment, as well as libraries for you to start writing programs and uploading them to the AVR IoT Cellular Mini Board. You can follow along, but if you prefer the written version, the exact process will be explained in the documentation page. If you don't have Arduino IDE installed, you can go to Arduino's website and install the latest version. Alternatively, you can use VS Code with Arduino plugin, depending on your preference of user interface. I already have Arduino IDE installed, so I'm going to continue with the setup process. To translate Arduino calls to low-level calls for the IVR microcontrollers, we need to install open-source DX Core middleware. To do that, first copy the URL in the repository and go to your file, preferences, and enter the URL. Then go to your tools, boards, and board manager. And here, select DX Core, 
and then click install. As you can see, I already have the library installed. The next step would be to configure some settings within the Arduino IDE. First, go to Tools, Boards, DX Core, and select AVRDB Series No Bootloader. Then go back to Tools, select Chip, and select AVR128DB48. Then go to Tools, Wire Library Mode, and select Two Wire Master or Slave. Next, go to Tools Port and select the port that your board is connected to. And lastly, go to Tools Programmer and select Curiosity Nano. The AVR IoT Solar Mini comes with Arduino library that allows us to communicate with components on the board using Arduino calls as opposed to using low-level programming languages such as C or C++. The latest version of the library will be available at Microchip's GitHub page. You can download the library from the latest releases and paste it in the Arduino's Libraries folder. The AVR IoT Cell library comes with several software models and application examples, including ones on sending and receiving HTTP requests making MQQT calls, as well as logging the message through USB interface. You can find all these examples within Arduino IDE by going to File, Examples, AVR IE to Cellular, and selecting the application that you're interested in. For example, this application lets you send an HTTP request to worldtimeapi.org and request a time for a specific location. In this example, it's Oslo, and you can see the response to the request in the serial monitor window, as well as different LEDs lighting up on the board in response to the program that we loaded. And with that, I'm going to finish the video here. You can find all of the relevant information in the kits page, including the user guides, instructions, as well as example applications. And as always, there is a supplementary Design Spark article to this video, which you can find in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!